guys, it's Lauren from The Express Lane, and today we are so excited to welcome back Crystal to our channel. She is an employment specialist in our St. Croix Falls office. Thanks for having me. And if you missed part one of our Interviewing with Confidence series, I will go ahead and leave that linked up here, as well as in the description box below, so you can watch that video when you're done watching this one. Yeah, so today for part two, we are going to be talking about interviewing with confidence when you're actually meeting your interviewer face-to-face. -face. Let's jump in. Now, Crystal, what would you say is the biggest difference between an in-person interview and a phone interview besides the obvious, the, the actual location? Yeah, absolutely. There are many differences about interviewing in person versus over the phone. When you're interviewing in person, your interview actually starts from the moment you arrive. Okay. And your interviewer can also pick up on nonverbal cues, body language, and so many other things. For sure. Now, when you say that your interview starts as soon as you arrive, what do you mean by that? Because that's not something I've heard before. Yeah, absolutely. So your interview actually starts from the second that you show up at yeah. your, your company's site. You don't want the person you didn't hold the door for to be the same person sitting across the table from you yeah. in an interview. <laughs> <That'd be bad. laughs> and you're also a guest for them. Mm -hmm. So you want to be respectful and, and treat the place that you're at as if you are their guest. Now, besides myself, is there anything that I should bring to the interview that would help me feel more confident and more prepared for the interview? Yeah, absolutely. So. As they've always said, bringing a copy of your resume or skills um, is helpful to have during the interview. Plus, then you can review it right before going in, so That's you're true. on top of your game. <laughs> um, and then it might also be helpful to write down some questions you have for the interviewer. If you're not the type of person that can think on the spot, having those questions is better than having no questions at all. Definitely. So, since your interviewer can, you know, actually see you when you're in person. Um, can you give us any tips on body language? Yeah, absolutely. Your body language is really important. You, it should show engagement by leaning in and nodding your head in agreement or even disagreement with what the interview has to say. Now, quite a few of us have, you know, some of those like nervous habits when we're in an interview. So whether that's like snacking, your gum or whether that's like I've seen people with like their knees like shaking under the table and you can like tell because their whole body is shaking when they're doing it um do you do you have any tips when it comes to like trying to like combat those nervous tics and like what are some of the most common ones I guess that you've seen too yeah absolutely you want to make sure that you're aware of those nervous tics just because coming off as nervous in, in an interview obviously isn't the most ideal um if you tend to be a fidgeter make sure you have your hands under the table. That way, if you're twiddling your thumbs, your interviewer is not seeing mm -hmm. them. Um, also, if there is any pens or paper on the table, then you're not moving them around. Uh, clicking the pen all the time. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> and then if you tend to shake a lot, putting your hands on your lap and just applying a little bit of pressure can help calm your legs and make you aware of when you do start shaking. Now, I feel like another way that we send nonverbal cues is the way that we dress. So do you have any tips for dressing for the interview to make sure that you're dressed professionally, but that you're not overdressed? Yeah, absolutely. You should know the dress code of your interview. If you don't know, you can certainly call the human resource department and ask. It is better to ask the questions to be prepared than to show up underdressed. So switching gears here, when it comes to the verbal piece of it, do you have any tips to sound confident when you're talking in an interview? Yeah, absolutely. Practicing is the best way to sound confident in your interview. When you rehearse, you'll be able to pick up on what you can and can't do, mm -hmm. and then you can adjust accordingly so that your interviewer doesn't think you're going too fast and rambling or talking too slow, like you don't know kind of what you're talking about. Now, what if I do practice, and I practice a lot, but I'm still really nervous for my interview? Yeah, absolutely, Lauren. If you are nervous during your interview, just take a deep breath. An interview is nothing more than a conversation between you and one other person or a panel of people. 
So to wrap up this video, I have to ask, what is one of the most like common cringeworthy, you know, mistakes that somebody could make in an interview? Like if there was one thing that you could tell somebody, one thing they should take away from this video, don't do this, what would it be? Absolutely. I think that the one thing that anyone should take out of this video would be don't overshare during your interview. Answer the questions that have been asked to you by the interviewer relating back to your skills and experience and try to avoid adding unnecessary details about your personal life or bad past experiences. Well, that wraps it up for our top tips for how to interview with confidence in person. And if you really liked this video and you loved learning these interview tips from Crystal, please give this video a like and consider subscribing to our channel. That helps us out a lot. And I have to say, Crystal, thank you so much again for coming on the channel today. Yeah, absolutely, Lauren. It was good to be here. And as we always say here at Express, look good, smell good, be good. And we'll see you next week at 4 p.m. for our next video to get your career in the Express Lane.